Let's be direct. We can't solve a problem without first identifying it. And the problem in our country right now? Authoritarian leaders who are so hell-bent <laughs> on gaining power and keeping it by whatever means necessary that they're directly attacking our freedoms in state after state. That's why I'm launching the Campaign for Democracy. We're going on the road to take the fight to states where freedom is most under attack, where Republican leaders ban books, criminalize doctors, fire teachers, intimidate librarians, kidnap migrants, target trans kids, stoke racism, condone anti-Semitism, force the victims of rape and incest to carry their attacker's baby, where they ignore the will of the people They make it harder to vote and easier to buy assault weapons. They fan the flames of culture wars to distract from the fact that blue states have lower murder rates, better health care outcomes, and higher GDPs. We're going to these states and investing in people and organizations where they're fighting back. We know we have a big battle coming, which is why we'll help lead the fight to make sure we elect leaders in 2024 who believe in democracy. Our country is facing an existential battle for who we are and who we're willing to become. It's not an exaggeration. That's the truth. What's happening in those red states? <laughs> it's not who we are. It's un-American. It's undemocratic. And all it takes to fight back is a willingness to stand toe to toe and say enough. That's what the campaign for democracy is all about. We're doing this because, well, the future isn't just something that happens to us. It's something we can create. So join the movement. Join us at campaignfordemocracy.com. I got to say, dude, I, I am a... I'm starting to become a fan of this. Oh, you I, need to elaborate I, I think, on I th- that. I think I think we're we're underestimating his 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 heelness when it comes to this type of stuff. It, look, if you look at this in wrestling terms and him being the heel in the whole matter, dude, the dude's outstanding. He he is one of the best heel. Like he's turning, he's just turning everything completely around. Everything like, oh, it's your fault. Like if you go back to wrestling and you see what the bad guy says, it's entertaining, right? You're like, oh. Million, he, when, when I see him, I think of the million dollar man. You remember the million dollar man? Yeah, yeah. I I, I think Newsom will be running for twenty twenty eight. That yeah, no offense, but so local. Um, no CBS News. A quick a quick look at Governor Newsom's Twitter page shows a statement has been everywhere but the Golden State the last few days. <laughs> a little jab, huh? Which it kind of it, it was kind of it kind of bring elaborating a little bit or giving you a brief. <clears throat> Uh, idea as far as how I feel about all this. That the stops could make some think he's considering a run for president. Hmm. Dude, we're getting smarter and so- smarter. However, the governor said, quote, has a sub-zero interest in becoming the country's leader. Okay, bro. Sub-zero. Sub-zero. Isn't that a Mortal Kombat character? Yeah, it is. Apparently he's cold. Yeah, cold. <laughs> huh, Cold-blooded. Newsom aims to support Democrats and fight GOP policies by promoting progressive values ahead of the 2024 election. This is hilarious. God bless this guy. He's a public figure, said Los Angeles resident Mark Norman. A lot of the people look up to him. I voted for him. I'm in support of this. I, I can't look up to this guy. As the governor campaigns, California continues to face some big issues, such as homelessness, the opiate crisis, and the winter storms that many are still recovering from. I think it would be nice to have the person in charge here with us dealing with with us said let's i mean LA maybe Res- you should i don't know i don't i don't and I, I don't mean to stop your reading rainbow segment but there, there was a surplus when he got in as governor now there's a big deficit now and but nobody's talking about that at all but go ahead continue sorry considering his apparent lack of interest in running for president some question is high profile out-of-state trips it feels very hypocritical doesn't it said gop budget chair mario guerra Guerra said Newsom needs to fix California before making an example for others to follow. That was kind of my take. Like, bro, you have, and he yes, in this, exactly. uh, That's yeah, everybody's the GOP budget that. chair continues. He says he hasn't finished the job yet. We went from a hundred billion dollar, and you brought it up, a hundred billion dollar surplus two years ago to a thirty billion dollar deficit. Said that this year, said Guerra, we have fifty percent of the nation's homeless he, homelessness here, and we have a high crime rate. Our gas prices are out of control. <laughs> Yeah, like how is it that you're gonna take it upon and try to fix somebody else's house when your house is in disarray? I don't quite get that. Again, again, if you look at it as a heel, 
This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Dude, I, I, I don't, when I look at this man, I have zero respect for him. Zero. And it's not his policies. I've said it time and time and again. It's the way. I, that, that has a lot to do with it for me. Yeah, for me, it's I mean, not that. That has a lot to do with it for me. It, it's it, it's the whole package. It's his policies, which are trash. Mm-hmm. It's his his inconsistencies when it comes to saying and doing. That's the big one for me. <laughs> that is. And, and, and then and then his holy, holier than thou complex where, hey, I'm so awesome in my state. I'm gonna tell you in your state what you should be doing to be like me, Mister Awesome. They do. This dude's the total package. Like Hugh Newsom, 